Hello and welcome back to Glenn's Small Engine. In this video, we're gonna go over the charging system on this Kawasaki V-Twin. If your battery won't hold a charge and it keeps going down and you know you got a good battery, well, it's time to check the charging system. Now in your car, you can just go buy another alternator and stick it on there and be done with it. But on this engine, the alternator is not one component. It's, it's a couple of different components. Uh, one is the stator underneath the flywheel. The other one's the regulator, rectifier, converts the AC to DC, and then feeds it to the battery, however much it needs. You just wanna make sure that you know you got a good battery on there that will start the engine without boosting it. If, if your battery's not good enough to start the engine when it's charged, there's no use in going through this test with good clean connections and a good ground because the alternator system will not work correctly without a good battery that's hooked up right. And you wanna make sure that when the key is on, that you've got 12 volts right here. Okay, here's a flywheel that's off an engine and a stator, so you know what that looks like. The stator's mounted to the block and then the flywheel sits on top and it spins around. The magnet's going by these windings. We get AC voltage, all right? So we wanna test AC voltage right here. And the, the book says at 3,000 RPMs, we should have about 28 volts on this engine. And we'll test that here in just a second. Okay, on your regulator, uh, right here is where our AC plugs in on this Kawasaki engine. And on the Kohler engine, the, the battery terminal's in the center and the two ACs are on the outside. Now this stator happens to be a Kohler here. Make sure that this uh, regulator's grounded good you want to take a test light, hook it to ground with the key on. You want to make sure that that terminal is hot going to the battery. If the charging system cannot see the battery, it cannot charge it. We're going to go back to an engine here that's on a mower and we're going to check the AC volts coming out of the stator. We're going to set our meter to AC volts. Your meter may be a little different than mine, so. Just make sure you got it on AC volts and you got it plugged in right. Stick one prong in each side and it doesn't matter which, it's not polarity sensitive. So you can hook either terminal on either side. So this test will tell, tell us if our stator is good or not and then we'll check the regulator. Okay, we've got our stator unplugged from the regulator. I've got my test leads uh, pushed in there. I've got my meter sitting here. I'm going to go ahead and fire it up. Okay, so this stator is good. So we're going to plug it back in and now we're going to uh, check the uh, regulator. Okay, to check the uh, regulator you're going to have to set your meter to DC amps. On my meter, I have to move my positive lead over to the 10 amp socket. So just make sure your meter is hooked up right and turned to the right setting or it can damage your meter. Okay, the way we're going to hook this up here is we're going to pull the, uh, the hot battery lead off the regulator right here. On this Kawasaki, it's going to be the one of the end terminals on the Kawasaki on the Kohler. It's the center one. But we're going to we're going to pull that hot wire off, and we're going to hook one end of our meter into this hot wire, and hook the other lead to the meter to the regulator. Okay. Another thing we're going to do is make sure that this lead is hot with the key on. And then I'm going to check this. Okay. So. So with the key on, this wire is hot. So we know that our charging system can see our battery. I know it's kind of hard to see on this engine here. I'm gonna do a couple of more engines that we can see better. So if you just kind of bear with me, I'll get through this first engine and then we'll go to another one. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna use a little bit uh, better meter on this so I can see it better. I've got it set to 15 amp DC. I've got it plugged in the right place where we can watch it. But uh, I've got the 
hot lead from the meter hook to the battery post. I got the negative lead from the meter hook to the wire that hooks on that post. So that's that's a working system right there. There's nothing wrong with this system. It's actually putting out a little more than than most of them do. Uh, another test that I like to do is. Uh, I just hook my meter up to the battery and I uh, see how many volts the battery has uh, just sitting here. Uh, right now we got like 12.22 volts in the battery, a little over 12 volts. So uh, that's telling me that the battery is probably a little undercharged. So let's crank up the mower now and watch what the bolts do. It's, it, this is what it looks like on a working system. So that's what it looks like on a working system right there. There's nothing wrong with this charging system. A lot of times I'll do this test right here first when something comes in just so I kind of know what I'm dealing with. So we're going on to uh, a couple other engines now. Uh, this engine actually came into the shop as the complaint was that the battery would not stay charged. So the first thing we're going to do is hook the meter up to the battery, 12 volts, and look at it. Uh, just setting here and then we'll crank up the engine and look at it and see if there's any change at all okay we've got our meter hooked to our battery uh, we're just going to be trying to get a feel of what's going on with the system 12.6 uh, volts the battery's charged uh, but the customer could have charged it before it came in so let's crank up the engine and see if we get any uh, change at all see if the charging system is putting out at all Well, as you can see there, the, the charging system is not working at all, so uh, we'll check the regulator and check the stator to see if one of those is a problem, and uh, we'll just move on from there. But this system is definitely not charging at all. Okay, we've got our stator hooked to our leads here. We're going to see what it's putting out here. I'm going to crank it up. Uh, you can see that the stator here is uh, not putting out what it's supposed to. We should be getting about 28 volts and we're just not getting hardly anything out of it. So uh, we're going to put a stator on this mower here and then try it again. Uh, unfortunately on this engine, the stator is uh, not easy to get to. We're going to actually have to pull this engine off this mower to get to the stator. The stator's underneath the flywheel. The flywheel's around here on this end, so uh, it's just going to be a hard job here. We're going to, so we'll pull this engine off, put a stator on, drop it back in, then we'll see what happens. Okay, we got the engine off the mower. We've got our puller on the flywheel, uh, getting ready to pull the flywheel off. We got our flywheel off. You can see our stator there. Uh, got a couple screws holding it on. We'll probably have to pull a few of those other screws out there to get the, the wiring and stuff out of it, pull it through. Uh, there's our flywheel. I just washed it off with water. It had a bunch of dirt on it, but you can just use water to wash them off. And we got our new stator here. Uh, we're getting ready to put it back on. We're going to go ahead and replace the regulator on it also because it's a good idea when you're replacing the stator to go ahead and replace the regulator.
Okay, here we are back again here. We've got our new stator on. We've got our leads hooked up to the stator for a stator test. Meter set on AC volts and hooked up correctly. So let's fire it up and see what happens here. That's a definitely a pass on the uh, stator test. So now we'll go on and test the new voltage regulator that we've got installed there. It's hard to get to down in there, so I built me a little jumper wire uh, to hook to my red meter lead. Uh, that wire is the B plus terminal on the voltage regulator. Uh, the wire that hooks to it goes feeds our battery. We're going to hook it to our black lead. Uh, we've got our meter set on amps 15 amps dc amps uh, so we're fixing to uh, fire it up here and see what the voltage regulator is doing okay that's definitely a pass uh, remember the voltage regulator only puts out what the battery needs. 2 to 10 is probably normal. Uh, this battery, since I've cranked it so many times, it's asking for a little more. Uh, but it's definitely working good. So we're going to hook everything up. And then we're going to do our battery voltage test. And watch what the charging system does directly to the battery. Okay, we've got our meter hooked up to our battery. We've got our leads plugged in the right place meter set on DC volts so now we're going to fire it up and see what it does well that's a, a working system now it works good it's charging the battery it's not an easy job but uh, the stator's working regulator's working and the battery's charging. Most of them are not this hard to fix. A lot of times it's just the regulator where your stator passes the test and the regulator fails. Uh, in that case, just put a regulator on it and retest the regulator. A, a lot of the non-charging problems lead to either a bad regulator or 12 volts not being able to get to the system. Uh, that's why we always test that lead to see if it's hot because a lot of charging problems come in the door and the only problem is just the, uh, your charger can't see the battery it's not hooked up to it so that's why we always check that lead to make sure that it's hot and probably at least half the non-charging problems are the voltage regulator so now we're going to go on to our final engine our third and final engine that we're going to test on here uh, the nice thing is is the uh, stator wires and the regulator is right out here in front of us easy to test so I'm gonna unplug that plug off the regulator and we're gonna check the stator first so hang on just a minute we'll, we'll hook the meter up to it and see what it does first thing you want to check uh, on this Kohler the center wire is the hot wire the two outside ones are AC on the Kohlers uh, so I'm gonna check this test light here and you can see that we've got a hot wire right there on our battery lead so you always want to check that and on this engine the Kohler engine uh, the two outside leads are the AC okay we've got our meter set for AC volts uh, we've got our test leads uh, one in each side where the AC is the white wires on this Kohler engine the two outside ones are our AC wires so we're going to crank it up. Uh, we're going to look for about 28 volts or more. Uh, as you can see, that was a, a very good passing test there. Put out plenty of AC volts. Uh, so now we're going to check our voltage regulator for the DC amps output uh, we're gonna have to move our leads on our meter 
turn it to move our lead for the 15 amp DC. Uh, make sure it's set right down here and it's set right up there. Okay, we unplug the wire, the hot wire to the voltage regulator out of the plug. We're going to hook our black lead off our meter to it. Uh, the red lead, we're going to just set right in there up against that hot, the uh, hot side coming out of the regulator. And then we're going to crank it up here and see how many amps this charging system is putting out. see that that regulator and stator is working just fine we're putting out plenty of juice to the battery this battery's charged pretty good so it's not going to ask for much uh, I'm going to show you one more test on this engine where we're going to turn it to DC bolts hook it straight to the battery uh, with it sitting there and then after it's running and that'll also show you uh, that the charging system is working okay we got our meter set to dc bolts here we're just uh, looking at the battery and seeing how much charge it's got it's got plenty of charge in it so we're going to crank it up now and you can watch what the charging system does okay you see the charging system is working uh, perfectly on this engine All right, that's a pretty good angle there. You can shoot it from that angle. Just try to keep my face out of it because I ain't been quite the same since the aliens abducted me.